New details off the top. The Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge will remain closed tomorrow. The announcement came just about 30 minutes ago. A fire at the refuge continues to burn at this hour. It's now on its 24th hour. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Channel 5 News at 5. I'm Oscar Rodame. And I'm Christine Galvan. A lot of developments with this refuge fire. Let's get straight to Angelo Vargas. He is live at the Wildlife Refuge with the latest. Angela. Well, we learned that the fire is 100% contained and 70% controlled. Project manager for the Wildlife National Refuge tell us that Pro, uh, Rob Jess tells us that they build a barrier around the the fire and that it has burned 325 acres so far and hopefully that stays contained. And let me just tell you what happened in this situation. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service officer tells us the fire started in Mexico. Now due to winds, an ember crossed the Rio Grande and landed on the refuge. Refuge officials decided to close their doors to the public yesterday afternoon. It remains closed at this hour and it's going to remain closed for the rest of the night as well as tomorrow, as you know. Now, because of this, it's heavy equipment is on the property and trees are blocking the trails. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service tells us the fire, again, started in Mexico due to the due to winds. Uh, they're going to decide when to open up these doors again. We'll let you know when that, again, uh, becomes available when more information comes available. Again, more information on that will come later on this evening on Channel 5 News at 6, reporting loud live in front of the Santa Ana Life Wildlife National Refuge, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 5.